to smile for the night, a college education may open doors for people who choose to attend, but sometimes the cost of a college education takes that option off the table. But Hardin Simmons University has found a way to help. KRBC's Miriam Chamberlain spoke with one orphan who was given the chance to fulfill her mother's final wish in graduating college. At the age of nine, Finda Kali came to Abilene from Liberia, a country in West Africa. Whenever we come from home and they will come here, your parents always tell you, like, go to school, like, education is the number one thing. But by the age of 16, Kali lost her mother. Losing my mom was one of the worst things that ever happened because I honestly didn't see her come in. Leaving her and four other siblings behind, becoming orphans. It was just like I came from school, I was doing my assignment, and I get a phone call, like, your mom passed away. After her mom's death, Kali says she got emancipated and proceeded on the path in getting a higher education. Living on your own at the age of 16, honestly, is one of the hardest things to do because you start paying bills, then you can't party. It's like you don't have your teen life anymore. Which led her to Hardin Simmons University. Vice President for Enrollment Management Vicki House says they enrolled her through a program called Christ Leap, providing full tuition for orphan students like Kali to help pay for for school. Education is the key to unlocking exponential future for students. And after four years of hard work and dedication, Kali is now graduating, becoming the first in her family to receive a college degree, something she says her mother will be proud of. As a mom, we all want our students and our children to succeed. We want them to do the very best they can. Finda doesn't have a mom that's going to be in the stands on Friday but she has lots of moms at Hardin Simmons who will be cheering for her, who will be so excited to have a picture made with her and to say, congratulations, you did this. Finishing college has been the best thing yet that's happened to me and I'm just honestly happy that I'm here today because I never thought I would have been here today, but I am. In Abilene, Miriam Chamberlain, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Miriam, and congratulations, Finda. We wish you nothing but the best.